We come to our prayers for others. As we pray, a picture will build into a kind of rainbow, or at least a shape with rainbow colours. We remember that the rainbow is a sign of hope and a reminder of God's promise to creation in the time of Noah, as we can read in Genesis chapter 9. It is also a symbol which has been used to share hope over the last few months. And so we bring our prayers and ask for the hope of God and the power of God to be at work in people's lives. As we pray, I will leave space for you to think of and maybe speak aloud the people and the situations for which you are concerned at the moment. We start with ourselves. Loving God, we are thankful that you invite each of us, whoever we are, to be part of your family and to be involved in what you are doing in the world. We think about our personal worries and offer them to you in prayer. As we let go of the things which are part of our old lives and embrace the new life you offer, help us, we pray, to live in a way that means we can be the answer to other people's prayers. We pray for our families, for those who are particularly dear to us, those we live with, those we long to be able to hug again, and those with whom we have perhaps lost contact. God of healing, where there is brokenness in our relationships, may we know your guidance and your power at work to bring the change and the new life that is needed. We pray for our friends, for the concerns we have for them, for the needs of which we are aware, for those who are struggling with illness or grief, with loneliness or stress. Be in our friendships, Lord, we pray, so that these may become even more life-giving relationships. We pray for our neighbourhood, for those who live around us and around the chapels which we are part of, for those we meet or would normally meet through work and through our social lives. Help us to allow you to work through us to make a difference in the lives of those around. And guide us, we pray, as we think about what you are calling us to do and to be as part of your church in this area. Nudge and encourage us by your spirit to find your way forward and to find our purpose in you. We pray for the people of the United Kingdom for those who are facing worries about what lies ahead with their employment, their homes, their health. We continue to pray for those who have a caring role, NHS workers, carers in homes and carers who go into other people's homes. We pray for all those trying hard to make things work for other people. Help us to play our part in the UK, becoming a more caring and inclusive nation where all can feel that they are valued and respected. We think of our own particular concerns for this country. And we ask God that your will may be done. We pray for the world for all parts of the world where the COVID pandemic is having an impact. We pray that we may find new ways of doing things around the world towards the building of a more merciful and just society, towards a greener and more healthy environment, towards peaceful relations between countries. We pray in particular for the Middle East where there is a serious prospect of the annexation by Israel of the Palestinian West Bank 
with a severe impact on residents there. We pray for the people of India and of China in the area around the Himalayan border, where this past week there has been conflict, holding before you in prayer those who have been injured and bereaved. We think of other issues from around the world of which we are aware, and holding all of these before you, God, we ask that your spirit will be at work, that there may be hope and peace and love, and that your will may be done. We pray for your church worldwide. We know that it may be a long time before our buildings can be open again, but we thank you that we can join our church family from around the world in prayer. Show us, we pray, how to keep on being church even while we cannot meet. We pray for all those who are seeking to live out their faith and to make a difference in the lives of those around them. We pray for those for whom it is dangerous to speak of their faith. We ask for a blessing for all those who seek you and we pray that as your church together, we may be a blessing to the world you have made. We share together in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>